Hello everyone, this is Luis Rodriguez from 3 Digital Cooks. In this week's video we got to play with the really cool user interface design for 3D models at the Cooper Hewitt Museum. 3D footprinting design is kind of a big deal for me, so if you want to discuss and hear about my ideas and crazy thoughts about it, watch the rest of the video and fire some comments. One, two, three. 3D Digital Cooks! It was awesome to visit the Cooper Hewitt Museum. There I got to play with these giant 4K touchscreen tables that had interactive design tools in it. These tables has been designed by Local Projects. Local Projects is a media design firm for museums and public spaces based in New York. My first reaction was, whoa, I need to play with this thing. It was fun and easy to use. I just needed to use their special digital pen and just to start touching stuff to figure out how the design tool was working. Let's see some of the features. The tool has two main parts, a graphic viewer and editor and a section to control the tools used. The graphic side of it has a 3D and 2D canvas that act both as a viewers and editors. The 2D window is used to draw the basic elements that will be transformed into 3D objects. This will depend, obviously, on the tool that is selected, the mode. And the 3D canvas gives a 3D representation of the object that helps to rotate it and, and get a better view of it. And also, it has some elements to edit the object too, as we will see later. The controls allow to change the view of the object, choosing between freeform, chair, lamp, table, base, building, and hat. There is also three different modes, extruder, revolve, and sweep. And there is another section where we can choose a different type of material that we want to use. Plastic, metals, fabric, ceramics, or stones. Basic editing buttons as the litter and do are also available. Everything starts by choosing a material and drawing on the 2D canvas. Depending on the 3D tool mode selected, you will have one result or another. It's actually quite good that jumping from extruder to revolve or sweep is free. So that means that you get to play and see different effects affecting your design. Revolving is fun. It's easy to make plenty of mushroom-like designs. Extruder and sweep create a 2D design that gets a flat or uniform 3D dimension. Rotating the 3D view has no effect as the drawing in the 2D canvas stays always in the same plane. I like how the nodes of each line are snappy and can be easily related to other nodes from other lines. Changing materials allows to have different elements within one design, what is I think pretty amazing and it gets a more real life situation where you merge different elements in a, in, a, in a design. After a while playing with the tool, I discovered that in the Strut mode it was possible to edit the design on the 3D viewer by editing the nodes that appears in the 3D viewer it allows us to change our design in the dimension that it's obviously missing in the 2D editor that was, that was a good surprise, although it took me a while to, to, to find out It is obviously impossible to fit into a 2D user interface the same natural approach that we use in a 3D environment. That is one of the biggest challenges to make designing in 3D easier for users. What I like from this tool is that it is obvious and simple to get to some basic 3D results by just touching and playing. And I think playing is a really key aspect because using the pen over the screen offers a completely different experience that similar tools would not provide with a different interface. And for example, I'm talking about using a mouse. This feels completely more engaging. Also, having such a big screen allows to have four people designing at the same time. That gives a really nice sherry feeling, even there is no interaction between the persons that are designing. That in somehow relates a lot to a dining table where everyone has its own dish and at some point most of people do not share but still they get to engage just by conversations or I'm old so it took me almost three minutes playing with it to find some of the more advanced options like 
editing the 3D viewer. But overall, I needed no manual, what is already a pretty big deal for any 3D design tool. I feel there is a big trade off between simplicity and packing features. Of course, I do always support the first one. I think it's way more important to have a simple tool that anybody can use than just add and add and add new features. Terms like extruder, revolve and sweep probably means nothing to anybody that has no CAD related experience. And that's definitely something that I don't like. Tools need to be accessible for anyone, especially when we are talking about 3D footprinting design. Overall, it was great to experience new designing interfaces and see how people use it. I think the giant screen is a big attraction to help trigger people's interest and help them to jump to try designing their own models. Definitely, I will be back to the museum, keep playing with the tool and especially observe how people react to it. Thumbs up if you like the video, share it and subscribe if you want more weekly 3D footprinting adventures. Bye!